here and I wanted to welcome you to the first video in our mini series here at the Crazy Horse Trails and I figured we should start this series by talking about trees since they are kind of important in our day-to-day -day lives and so diverse everywhere. They can range from the red oak a native species of this area to the buckthorn an invasive species which we'll talk about in our next video. around in the winter time you probably noticed that trees don't keep their leaves and that's because they've all entered a dormant phase which means they will shed their leaves in the fall season and prevent any water loss by sealing up their openings until they can get some nice bright hot sun and restart their photosynthesis in the spring months there are a few outliers though as you can see if you have a really good eye some trees do keep their leaves. I want to dive a little bit deeper on our American beech, which is the tree right behind me. And to be able to identify the right tree and not be talking about an ironwood, we got to look a little bit closer because they both have orange leaves and that won't tell us anything. But if we do look closer, we can focus in on our bud, which is very, very sharp looking on our American beech and, and a little rounder looking on our ironwood. And the question you've all been waiting for is, hold on, why does this tree still have its leaves? Now the process is called marcescence, which is the retention of dead plant matter normally shed by deciduous trees like our birch and our oak. It is observed specifically in juvenile trees like this one here and many others along the trail. And there's no real specific answer on why they keep their leaves um, because we can't simply just ask them, hey, why do you keep your leaves? But Scientists have narrowed it down to two possible reasons. Firstly, leaves contain nutrients that the trees will reabsorb when they drop in fall, but these nutrients are used up by the time spring comes around. So instead, the beech will keep its leaves until springtime, their critical growing time, to give the trees a little nutrient boost when needed in the competitive springtime soil to maximize its growth for the season. Another plausible reason for wanting to keep the leaves is the deterrent factor for animals looking to forage. The look of dead leaves does not look like an appealing meal, and that can be the same for animals looking to feast on nutrient-rich buds. On this tree, the leaves conceal the buds essential for the growth of new shoots and leaves and prevent it from being eaten. In both cases, this young tree is just looking for an efficient way to grow up in the ever-competing forest canopy above us, all fighting to capture the sun's rays in the summertime. So the next time you're out here, take a second to admire these trees. Or they may just look like dead leaves, but these leaves turn from this orange look to a beautiful pink tan later in the season. And those are colors Bob Ross would definitely be a fan of. We'll see you next video.